Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb, and I have a book review on Crushed by Sarah Shepard, and this is the 13th book in the Pretty Little Liar series. And I know a lot of you have been anticipating my reviews in this series, and um, let me reassure you that I'm going to... I know I went out of order because this book just got released, but I'm going back to the first book and rereading it right now, so you guys will see more Pretty Little Liars reviews. Um... So yeah, this book, um, I'm, this is a no-spoilers review, but at the end of this video I will be having a book discussion which will have spoilers, but I'll, for all the people who have not read this book, I'll give you a warning so you can turn off the video and I won't spoil it for you guys. So this part of the, this part of the video is no spoilers. So basically, Pray the Liars, to sum up like the first, like kind of the first synopsis you ever hear from the first book, it's basically about four friends, Spencer, Emily, Hannah, and Arya, and they are being stalked by a name by a person who calls himself A, and they're stalked after the disappearance of their best friend, um, Allison De Laurentiis, and the story continues off from there. And as you can tell, it's a pretty lengthy series. So plot, I give a five to five. I absolutely love this plot. Like if you guys were a little like, I know reading the ninth, tenth, eleventh, and even twelfth book, like it was kind of like a new era of the liars. It kind of seemed like a new era, like. Not a different writing style, but just kind of felt different because the series had been closed at book A and then reopened, and obviously I was ecstatic for it, but didn't feel like the same rush sometimes. Like it felt like I love. Don't get me wrong, and don't hate me. Um, I loved nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I loved all those books. Some I love more than others, but I still loved all the books. Um, but this book, The Thirteenth Crush, it really took me back to the days with the um, two arcs the like one to eight books it really took me back to that place so don't get discouraged at the 12th or 11th or 10th or 9th just keep reading the series because the 13th book takes you really back and I'm super pumped for the 14th book's release I'm pretty sure it's called Deadly so excited and also back to the plot um the this book was really good because you finally saw the liars getting proactive about A and stuff and you saw some plans being made and a very very intense ending when you get to page I think 290 to the end which is 338 it gets super super intense um, also if you guys want page numbers and all that on like page numbers release date all that it will be in my book haul with this book I'm gonna include it even though I'm telling you guys about it because some people might not watch this review so yeah um, next we have characters um, five out of five as well. I absolutely love all the characters. Sarah Shepard is a phenomenal character writer. I absolutely love all the characters she writes in these books. Even if they're evil, they just have this alluring quality, and I really can appreciate that. And yeah, so good. I love all the characters, and the characters that really stood out for me were some of the new characters, stuff like that. I really enjoyed that. Um, cover, I give a 5 to 5. As you may know, I didn't really like the 12 cover as much, but I love this nice orange color. It's such a summery color. And it looks, I really like the combination. I don't know if you guys know this. I like the combination of red and orange together, like nice red, orange. This is kind of a pinky red. Yeah, it might look different on camera, but I really like the contrast and stuff. And yes, I love contrast between orange and that. And also, my when I took this to school, I noticed, like on the inside... How it's like this with purple. My case is, you can't see on camera, but my case is orange for my iPod with purple headphones, so it kind of matched. And I was like, oh, that really was irrelevant. But on this, A's little message is catch me if you can, A. Yeah, I love the cover. Phenomenal. Um, suspense, I give a 5 of 5 as well. Oh my gosh, the suspense in this book was crazy, especially the last part of the book, what I was just telling you about. So crazy. Suspense was so good. I read the prologue during the week when Tuesday when it came out but I didn't have time during the week because I had a very big project so I start and I didn't have time Friday either so I started reading on Saturday chapter one after like mid-afternoon and I read all the way to like 200 and something last night before my eyes had to close because I was too tired to continue and I just finished it this morning so you can tell the suspense was very up there um, overall, I give this book a 5 to 5. I really want to reread re this again. Um, I will discuss why in the discussion video in depth more, but something happened that I really want to read back to kind of check out. So anyway, that was my book review on Crush by Sarah Shepard, the 13th book in the series. And yes, 
So now moving on to my discussion. So if you have not read Crushed, turn off the video and come back later. And for all the people that are leaving right now, bye. And hopefully I'll see you later at the second half of this video. So, discussion time. Oh my gosh, the ending with Noel, I was shocked. I thought it was going to be a bomb or something like they were saying. I had no clue that it was going to be Noel tied up there. And I, want, I wonder what happened to him. Like, I thought he was dead at first. But if he's alive, this adds a whole new twist. And A's messages at the end get me every time. I think the most jaw-dropping one has been, I think, in the ending of the third book or... Yeah, the ending of the third book, when she talks about how Hannah got hit by the car, like, those messages at the end just, like, they're like, oh my gosh, need the next book now. Um, I absolutely love them, and this series is so good. Um, it's so intense. Sometimes when you just think it's like, oh, it goes, whoosh, whole world's changed. Um, also, another thing I want to discuss is the burn clinic with Kyla and Allie. I was wondering why that girl's taking such interest in Hannah by thought she was just you know she's in the burn clinic and she might not see a lot of other teenagers come in and out besides the people in her room and her parents and friends maybe so I was just figuring it was something like that but Allie if that was Allie in there oh that was crazy that's why I want to reread the book really badly because I want to see the interaction between them again which I'm thinking of rereading it because I'm rereading the whole series again so it matters um how long that's gonna take me and what I'm up for and also, I was really happy the liars got proactive, and I found that when they went into that little um, panic room, it was it was so creepy how A knew what they were doing, and like their computers were chipped. Oh my gosh, that was so crazy. Um, like how she had the list and stuff, and the pictures from in there, and I just want to know why. And I, if the 14th book is indeed the last book, I really hope either it gives us a really in-depth version of Allison's planning, or Sarah Shepard releases another book that has like Allison's Allison's plan book about how she did all this because that'd be freaking like crazy be so happy she did that anyway once again um thanks to all my subscribers and everyone who watched my video I appreciate you guys all tuning in and I will see you Tuesday for another segment of bye bye back to me bye guys